All right, this is for all my gamers. This is going to be the hands down, the ultimate video of why, as of right now, why Xbox, my Xbox right here, is better than the PS5. And there's only one only one main reason why we could talk about we can talk about the controller differences right oh this one you know the haptic feedback this we could talk about uh, this has this to record gameplay and stuff like that that's great these controllers obviously ps5 is a better controller okay cool we could talk about the 4k we could talk about the internals all that stuff right but when it comes down to it you have to answer this one question why do we play video games we play video games you know why to have fun and right now I barely play the PS5. I, it, is it fun? Of course. But you can play, oh, I don't know, maybe five PS5, not even three PS5 games. At that, with the Xbox, with the Game Pass, you can just play any game you want. I'm sorry, but that's the hands down definitive factor of why Xbox is being PlayStation right now. And, and, and in my opinion, if you really want the best 100% gaming experience, whether it's graphics, latency any of those like detailed terms of you know high res whatever you want and a pc is where it's going to be because any pc that's probably about a grand or more is going to be better than the ps5 and it's going to be better than the xbox i have all three because i'm a gamer i love video games whatever i have almost every console except like a ps3 but that's not the point the point is the main reason why xbox is winning is because of the game pass now the game pass you can have you can literally just buy an xbox for 500 bucks Right, let's just say, which or 300 bucks if you want to get the S. But let's just say you spend the 500 and get the X. You have to get the live anyways, so you might as well just get the Game Pass. So let's say with taxes and the Game Pass, that's 500, depending on your state. My taxes was $31. So 531 plus another 15 bucks. Actually, I think it's free or a dollar your first month. So at least for your first month, you're going to spend $132 and play a whole bunch of unlimited games, and you have a terabyte of data. I mean, you can play at least three, four games, five games off the rip. I mean, unless you download Call of Duty, that takes up a lot of space. But let's just say you're not getting Warzone, because that shit is like over 100 gigabytes at this point. Excuse me. So, so when you decide what system you want to get, you can talk about specs, you can talk about the controller, you can talk about the graphics, you can talk about a whole different, a whole bunch of different details of what system you got. And the, the number one factor is how many games you can play. Because realistically, I barely touch my PS5. I barely play it. The only game I'm playing on it right now, and it's not even a PS5 game, is actually The Last of Us Part Two. I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. Because, you know, I enjoy the, the experience. But there's, you, you can't, it's not, it's not fun. So at the end of the day, if you really want the best gaming experience, you want to get the Xbox X. It's amazing. I love it. I think I'll be playing it more than my PS5. The only reason, the only set, the only reason, I guess the second reason you would get the PS5 is because of friends. Obviously, if you're playing whatever game, whether it's Apex Legends, Dead by Daylight, whatever game you're playing, you know, if your friends are on that console, most of your friends, you know, your top tier friends, you know, your group, then you're going to get that console. I think that's, that's fair enough to say. But other than that, I would recommend if you just want to play games, like you can just buy the console, buy the Game Pass, and you're jumping right in and download a couple games. The Xbox is, 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 is where you want to be. And anything else, these consoles are pretty similar. Maybe the PS5 is better in certain ways, graphics. Maybe the Xbox is. I haven't really done the super in-depth research of it. But the main thing that I do know is I'm going to have more fun with the Xbox. And for me, yes, most of my friends have the Xbox. Thank God. Because if it was the PS5, you'd be spending more money trying to buy games or you're just playing, you'd be playing PS4 games. Well, what's the point of playing the new system if you can't play the games? You're playing PS4 games. Now I understand why the people who had PS4s for years and years and years when it first came out were pissed off. I, I get that. Is it, is it a bad console? No. Does it need more games? Yes. And then, and then, and then this with the haptic feedback, the adaptive feedback, whatever, it's like the only real game that you get the real the real in-depth like how it feels you know rotating the controller you get to blow into it you get the you know the grip strength of this like when you're climbing something is when you're playing astro room that is literally the only game where it gets like the full the full power of this controller and it's really good i'm not saying it's not but there are really no games that are using it to its full potential it's not so at the end of the day 
it's like you don't even need that. Having having a regular Xbox controller is is it's honestly fine. It's 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 fine. Xbox is winning. I'm sorry. The only thing that they're losing in right here, the batteries. That shiz. Let's. I get it. Duracell needs to make money too. I guess or Energizer, or whatever. But that shit is stupid. They need to stop. They need to stop. I don't care. Batteries for this is nonsense. You know, whatever. But. I'm not trying to convince you that Xbox is better than PS5 or PS5 is better than Xbox. I think they're very similar in their specs. So, I mean, it's I think the two major contributors, I'm going to repeat myself, is the games you can play and what console your friends are playing on. And right now, you can have more fun on Xbox. And that's it. So, if that doesn't convince you, then, I, I mean, that's it. I'm actually, I'm not really here to convince you. But... Anyways, if you enjoyed this video or you thought it was bad, you know, comment, subscribe, let me know what's going on because let me know your guys' opinion. But me, I'm just an Xbox. Anyways, take care. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Peace out.